All right, guys, Cuddleboy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in an undisclosed location in the land far, far away. And what do we have in front of us are a couple Aero Precision products. Now, before we start off, I'll just let you know I bought every piece of these things. And uh, because I'm going to a really cool get together with the guys over there at Arms List, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to sit down with a bunch of people and show them some ins and outs about AR-15 and putting them together. In doing so, I've got a really cool rifle build that, uh, you know, like I need another rifle. But uh, anyway, I've got a really cool rifle build that's set up and sponsored by the guys over there at Strike Industries. I'd like to thank those guys. And we're going to go over some individual parts uh, prior to the build so you guys can see what's going on. But right now, what we're talking about is the air precision stuff. Now, everybody knows about the M4E1 stuff. I am a huge fan of it, and a lot of you guys are as well. And this is my first, believe it or not, Aero Precision Bolt Carrier Group. Now, I say it's my first Aero Precision Bolt Carrier Group. Hell, a bunch of different manufacturers out there. I could have had the same Bolt Carrier Group. I don't know where to get their stuff from. I'm not sure if they make it in-house or not. But let's take a look at it. Aero Precision 556 Bolt Carrier Group is the perfect firing mechanism for your AR-15 build. Featuring high-quality materials that are machined to exact specifications, this Bolt Carrier Group provides time-tested precision and accuracy. Carrier features M16 carrier machine from 8620 steel, properly staked gas key, forward assist, serrations, bolt features, machine from C158 steel, carpenter 158 steel, phosphate, and black nitride. Machine from 9310 steel, this is nickel boron coated, is HPT tested, MPI marked, and shot paint. All right, that's good. I like that. And <laughs> the BCG includes the bolt carrier, the bolt assembly, firing pin, firing retaining pin, and gas key, and cam pin. All parts are installed. I think I picked this thing up, and I'll be honest with you guys, I bought all this stuff off of Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, there is a little, uh, what do you call it, link down there. If you're building a bunch of ARs, your first purchase, you will pay for a full year's membership with that as much as you're saving off of them. But anyway, I'll just be letting it know. I always use for my big uppers, I use Palmetto State Armory, but for my individual parts and ammo, I go to these guys, Big Daddy Unlimited. All right, so anyway, bought this guy. Without further ado, and I'm going to shut up right now, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and see what's the big deal. This is nickel boron coated, and I like bolt carriers. I do. And the first thing I look at when somebody says their boat carrier is properly staked. Now let's do this real quick. I'm gonna bring the camera. Now I'm working with a new review table. I got it lit up pretty good. I hope it's not too bright, but I want you to see the details. And right now we're just working off of a white towel. It's dirty, but it is what it is. I got a really cool sticker. Check that out. All right, so what's the first thing I look at with a bolt carrier group? Well, fit and finish all the way around. So the first thing I'm going to notice on this guy is that it is clean. There's no chips in the coating itself. Uh, one of the things I want to look at is the, what they say, properly staked. Now this one, when I say staked, it should have a little bit of indention into the circular area right there. And this one, eh, it's adequate. Is it anything special? No, not really. But it's just a regular bolt carrier. Uh, let's see, right here you've got the MPI marked right there. We know it's shot, peen, and HPT tested. We'll go ahead and pull out the firing pin retaining pin and get into the nuts and bolts of this guy. There we go. Firing pin. It's a firing pin. Looks pretty nice. I actually broke a firing pin the other day. First time that's ever happened to me. Unbelievable. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the cam pin. It is also nickel boron encoded. And, and I will tell you this, uh, it's just smooth and silky. Yes, it is. I like it. I like it a lot. So anyway, there we go. As you guys can see, the MPI stamp on there. Looking around, nothing out of the ordinary. The locking lugs are all square with the exception of the one on the extractor. Let's go ahead and look at the ejection pin. I'm going to get an ejection pin deal. It's e uh, ejecting. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take the extractor out, take a look at the inside of it. And guys, one of the things, I used to do bolt carrier reviews all the time. Got away from doing stuff that was simple as that, but Air Precision is a really good brand, and I'm glad that uh, I've actually got one now. So you can see the interior of the extractor, no big deal. Let's look at the inside of the bolt, see if we got any weird looking machine marks. And we do not. That in itself tells me a lot about these guys. 
the gas rings, ringing gas, a little loose in there. Huh. All right, that's pretty much it, but it's a, a good looking face, no machining marks inside of it. Uh, one of the things that I always look for is to make sure that they are flat. A lot of people also ask me if I um, do a go, no go gauge on these things. I, and, and about 50% of the time, uh, if I'm working with a real nice custom barrel or something like that, I believe I've had one of my friends tell me he saw uh, an AR blow up on one competition because the guy didn't do that. But, and we're just going to end it there. How about that? But look at that. Isn't it pretty? Nice. Let's look at the interior of the bolt carrier. Very clean, as you can see. Hope you guys like the light. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Very smooth. Coating is impeccable. We'll see how it holds up. Now, for you guys that are new to the ARs, one of the cool things that uh, you learn about the uh, bolt carrier group. There's a couple different ones out there that have different cutouts and things of that nature, but as of late, companies have been putting these extended pieces that make the tail of the bolt carrier a little bigger than usual. And what that does is it helps with tilt carrier tilt. And you may notice uh, some uh, uneven wear in your buffer tube, and that's from carrier tilt. Now, uh, the whole area, this whole area does not ride inside of your buffer tube or the upper receiver. And we'll just get into a little bit of uh, that right now. So this is the uh, upper receiver right there. And you can see inside. Now, the cool thing is, is when you bring your bolt carrier, okay, and it's easier to see from the other side, actually, if we can get that in there but you can see the contact points of the carrier itself. I'll bring it out. If you may notice this, okay? But look, you can actually see the light along the sides. That carrier rides on this rail, this rail, this rail, and this rail. Now, I know a lot of you guys know that, but it's interesting to share that information to some people who do not know that. But in any case, I can't wait to get this guy together. This is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, well, guys, that's it. This is the Aero Precision. This is our nickel boron coated bolt carrier group, MPI HPT tested and shot peen, which is pretty good. It's an added bonus. And in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be looking at a bunch of different bolt carrier groups and getting back to the basics of the channel, which is gun reviews. But we do have some politics coming up. Anyway, with that being said, Guys, that's it. This is the Air Precision Bolt Carrier Group in Nickel Boron. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end them like this. Sport the red, white, and blue. Get out of here. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. And let me know what you think about the, the close-up uh, tabletop review stuff. This is the kind of stuff I used to love doing. I'm going to get back to doing it. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out.